Hey guys, today we are going to be creating um, drawings from the rainforest, okay? So um, we are going to look at this scavenger hunt right here. Um, here are the things that you can draw. The goal would be to get them all done today. I don't think you will have time, but you can work through as many as you can. So one of the things you are going to draw is an insect that lives in the rainforest. Um, a plant that grows in grows on a tree in the rainforest a mushroom that lives in the rainforest, a bird that lives in the rainforest, a vine plant that lives in the rainforest. So if you go through my slides here, guys, each page has a different one of these things and it has resources for you. So you don't have to just do random searches, right? So here's the first one. I have, um, these are insects that live in the rainforest, okay? Uh, we are going to look at, you could look at these pictures right here or you could click on the link right here maybe if it lets me all right so click on the link it'll take you to the rainforest page and you can scroll right on down and see pictures of these insects on here so you're going to choose one of them okay uh, we are not signing up for anything. You can choose one of them to draw, okay? Draw it as realistically as possible. Um, make sure you have the name of the insect, okay? So I think I would like to draw, ooh, it's a hard call. I might try and draw the elephant beetle, okay? So I'm gonna look right here and draw it as realistically as possible on my paper, right? Okay, so there's my paper. I may switch it so I have more space. Um, because this is a realistic sketch or I'm trying to do a realistic sketch, I'm gonna make sure I write down the name of my insect, okay? So my insect is called the elephant beetle. So I'm gonna write down elephant beetle okay so i have the word elephant beetle now i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to look really carefully at the um shapes i see in my elephant beetle so i'm going to start up here on this area because i see an oval there so i'm going to just go ahead and start with that so i'm going to get that basic oval on sketch it pretty big okay i see there's a little bit of a uh like a, another oval there with a bit of an m right here so i'm drawing what i see um not what i think i see so i see there's like a couple little lines there this one has a little line that comes out and a couple lines there okay then i'm gonna go down and right about here out of the leg out of the body comes a leg and then there's another one right there. And this, I'm drawing it lightly till I think it's right. It has some extra lines right there. And I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna draw this as real looking as I can. I'm not making up and be like, yep, I know beetles have legs. So my beetle legs don't just look at that, right? So I'm trying to draw the beetle the way it looks on the computer here. These legs even have kind of like these little facets to it, okay? Um, but it gets pretty tiny in there and I can't see much of it. Right here, um, it kind of has band of color, right? And then down here, the body gets smaller towards the bum and it gets wider towards the top, right? Um, I'm going to get that line in here. I'm drawing lightly till it's right. Okay. And I'm going to continue. Okay, guys. So I went and I tried to see the dark spots on here. I erased out some of the whiter spots. I added a little, um, bit of shading to the darker areas. Uh, this would just be one example of one of the drawings you could do today. Um, you can go back through and choose. Um, after you have designed your insect, you can go back through and find 
um, one of the mushrooms or one of the plants that grows on um, trees, okay? Or a vine, but take your time today drawing these because this is going to impact a second drawing we're going to do next week. So we're going to keep these in our expedition folder, binder, wherever you're keeping your work. 